think about it. I would be on the train, going to work, into the office, and I would be thinking, wow, so this is 30 minutes, that's one hour in a day that I'm wasting sitting on public transport. We just looked at the cost of living in San Francisco now. The average cost is $3,100. $3,100 for a one bedroom apartment. Look, not everything has to happen in San Francisco. Working remotely is a really great option. Yeah, screw it, let's just leave. I don't need to be here, I just, just, let's just leave. The entire history of economic migration of the world has been about getting to where the jobs are. But at the same time, there is now this complete new set of people who can work anywhere. It was this new kind of person who, who called themselves digital nomads. Being a digital nomad is about being able to live and work wherever you want. Being a digital nomad is available to more people than ever before. If I have internet, my laptop is my office. Coffee shop in the morning, in the co-working space in the afternoon, I only commute if I want to. So today is Monday and we're a remote company and there's nobody at the office. There's companies that are finding new ways to work that allow people to set their own hours, live wherever they want in the world and they're going to attract the best people in the world. Digital nomads might be an extreme example, but they're an example of how the world is changing. You might be a lot happier somewhere else. Who's to say that the place you grew up is the place that you're meant to be?